Sit. Sit pretty. Sit. Stay. 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 Hi, I'm Justin, and today I'm going to show you how to build this simple farmhouse entry table. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. So I started off this build by cutting all the lumber down to size and removing the rounded edges off of the sides to make it look less like construction grade lumber and a little bit nicer quality. The overall dimensions for this table is 36 inches high, 5 foot long, and 10 inches uh, from front to back. Once the rounded edges were off of the 2x6s I was going to use for the tabletop, I took it over to the planer to get a nice even flat surface before combining those pieces together. I then did a first initial sanding to all the pieces up to 120 grit before assembling the whole table. I used pocket screws and wood glue to combine the two pieces to make the tabletop. I then began to assemble the table legs with pocket screws and wood glue. Once both legs were together, it was time to combine all the pieces. I did make kind of a big mistake here. I should have done this piece first because I knew I wasn't going to be able to fit my drill in there after one leg was attached to fit the other leg on. I was able to remedy this by using a ratchet to screw in the rest of the pocket holes. It did take a little while longer, but it still got the job done. I then installed a runner across the bottom to secure the pieces together. After the glue was set on the tabletop, I ran it through the planer one more time to get a nice smooth surface for the top so that it was a lot easier to sand later. And the top was secured with, you guessed it, pocket screws. I then added the decorative pieces. These were not structural, so I just pretty much held those together with wood glue and one pocket screw in each. It seemed to hold up just fine. There were a couple of knots in the tabletop that I wanted to fill because they were going to be a big hole in the top surface. So I used some quick setting epoxy. This is my first time trying this technique and it worked out great. I put that in, it dried within 30 minutes and I was able to sand it right off. I then gave the rest of the table a complete sanding and followed it up with a nice coat of stain and I did use Jacob Bean. It's my favorite stain and it goes with everything in my house. This project did not take long at all to accomplish. I finished it in an evening after work and it looks great. We needed something in the front entry and this really makes the room pop. It was just a blank wall and now we have a nice little space to display some pictures and some cute decor. Well, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I've got more videos on my channel. And if you want to see more, follow me on Instagram. It's Justin underscore built. And I'll see you on the next one.